Question 16. What are the two types of shell variables? Explain in brief. Answer. The two types of shell variables are Unix defined variables or system variables. These are standard or shell defined variables. Generally, they are defined in capital letters. Example, shell this is a Unix defined or system variable which defines the name of the default working shell. User defined variables. These are defined by users. Generally, they are defined in lower letters. Example, $a equals 10. Here the user has defined a variable called a and assign value to it as 10. Question 17. How are shell variables stored? Explain with a simple example. Answer. Shell variables are stored as string variables. Example. $a equals 10. In the above statement a equals 10, the 10 stored in a is not treated as a number but as a string of characters 1 and 0. Question 18. What is the lifespan of a variable inside a shell script? Answer. The lifespan of a variable inside shell script is only until the end of execution. Question 19. How to make variables as unchangeable? Answer. Variables can be made unchangeable using read only. For instance, if we want variable or value to remain as 10 and not to be changed, then we can achieve this using read only. Example. $a equals 10. $read only a. Question 20. How variables can be wiped out? Answer. Variables can be wiped out or erased using the unset command. Example. $a equals 20. $unset a. Upon using the above command the variable a and its value 20 gets erased from shell's memory. Caution. Be careful while using this unset command. Question 21. What are positional parameters? Explain with an example. Answer. Positional parameters are the variables defined by a shell, and they are used whenever we need to convey information to the program. And this can be done by specifying arguments at the command line. There are totally 9 positional parameters present i.e. from $1 to $9. Example. Dollar test Indian IT industry has grown very much faster. In the above statement, Positional parameters are assigned like this. $0 test. Name of a shell program slash script. $1 Indian. $2 IT and so on. Question 22. What does the dot indicate at the beginning of a file name and how should it be listed? Answer. A file name which begins with a dot is called as a hidden file. Whenever we try to list the files it will list all the files except hidden file. But it will be present in the directory. And to list the hidden file we need to use the option of ls i.e. $lsa. Question 23. What is the difference between diff and c? M. P. Commands. Answer. Diff basically. It tells about the changes which need to be made to make files identical. C. M. P. Basically it compares two files byte by byte and displays the very first mismatch. Question 24. By default, a new file in the new directory which is being created will have how many links? Answer. New file contains one link and a new directory contains two links. Question 25. What is a file system? Answer. The file system is a collection of files which contain related information of the files. Question 26. What are the three different security provisions provided by Unix for a file or data? Answer. Three different security provisions provided by Unix for a file or data are It provides a unique user ID and password to the user so that unknown or unauthorized person should not be able to access it. At file level, it provides security by providing read, write and execute permissions for accessing the files. Lastly, it provides security using file encryption. This method allows encoding a file in an unreadable format even if someone succeeds in opening a file but they cannot read its contents until and unless it is decrypted. Question 27. What are the three editors available in almost all the versions of Unix? Answer. The three editors are E, D, E, X and V, I. Question 28. What are the three modes of operation of V, I, editor? Explain in brief. Answer. The three modes of operation of V editors are command mode. In this mode, all the keys pressed by a user are interpreted as editor commands. Insert mode. This mode allows for insertion of a new text and editing of an existing text etc. The X command mode. This mode allows a user to enter the commands at a command line. Question 29. What is the alternative command available to echo and what does it do? Answer. T put is an alternative command to echo. Using this, we can control the way in which the output is displayed on the screen. 
Question 30. How to find out the number of arguments passed to the script? Answer. The number of arguments passed to the script can be found as shown below. Echo dollar hash.